guys and welcome back to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl your crafter kia p aka kia the crafter how are all my crafty people doing today i am super excited because we're going to do a brand new project yes a brand new one what we're going to do is some coaster sets but they're not the regular coaster sets they also come with their own container to put the coasters in so this is new for me and we're gonna do it together i have the squares four squares and four circles and then this is the circle mode for that holds the coasters i thought this was super cute um a good little um project to do possibly a good product to have to kind of resell once you make it and so the coasters kind of stack up in there and so i was like you know what that is pretty dope you know, if you follow me, you know my know my channels, watch my channels, and you know that I love making things that are functional. If they're not functional, I'm probably not going to deal with it. So it's got to be some type of way that is functional for people to use, not just look pretty, but to also be usable in their home, office, or what have you. So, yeah, so if you like the content that I provide, please hit like and subscribe. To my channel i greatly will appreciate it thanks to all of you that um, already are subscribers and like the page like the channel thank you so much for your comments those of you that have commented thank you so much i greatly greatly appreciate that hey if you subscribe let me know you subscribe you know i like to know who my subscribers are you don't have to be hidden you know i might want to shout you out or send you something never know but if i don't know who you are I can never do that, right? So make sure you let me know who you are when you subscribe. Hit the like button again and the notification bell so you can get updates when we do new projects. I'm constantly trying to find new things to do that, again, is marketable, functional, and fun. Functional, not functional. Functional and fun. Let me get my words twisted there. So I'm just opening up all of the molds because these are brand new. I've never done this one, so I do not know. Um, how many ounces this is going to take however I have I will have a total of 16 ounces I have eight ounces of my a which is here we go my America's best yes America's best resin no I do not do not get paid or anything from them by promoting their brand I should hopefully in the future I will but right now I just like the product that is what I use for all of my projects and it works amazing I love it I love it I love it so we're gonna get started I really don't know guys like how many ounces this is going to take but I do have a color scheme that I want to do and so I want to do my in my mind I'm seeing gold black and white for the round set and I'm seeing gold and white and clear for my square set don't know um, but that's what I'm seeing what I want to do in my mind is I want to edge it with the gold in each one of them and then do the colors kind of like on the, in the middle and so we're gonna try to figure out how to do that so meanwhile let's get some resin mixed up i have my part a i have eight ounces of that and i'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my larger container over here and you guys know how we do resin by at this point but if you don't when you only have two eight ounce uh cups i'm always you know here for the beginners as well as the seasoned ones so if you don't want to watch me resin or pour the resin mix up on it, you can fast forward just a little bit. But I want you to watch the complete video. Watch the complete video. Thank you. I need your watch hours. I need your likes. I need your subscriptions. I just need you. I just need you. Just keeping it honest and real. And thank you guys for what you have poured into my channel so far. Like it just blesses my soul. Every time I check it and it, like I said, it's people that's commenting and people that, you know, I have more subscribers. I am just elatedly happy about that. So thank you so, so much. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. I'm just trying to get all of it out of here because we measured all of it. So we want to make sure that we have it, have the majority of it out of here. And I'm going to pick up my spatula at this point, which that's what I should have used because that's a mixer. And that'll just get that excess these little tools that i'll be this spatula i get that from the dollar tree you can get them at the dollar tree they come in colors red 
teal and gray. And so I chose the teal set for my crafts because I have the gray set in my kitchen. And these are like super cool. I love them. They are awesome for um, resin projects and mixing and stuff and getting it extra out of the, the cups. And so before I pour that other in there, I'm going to go ahead and clean this cup out. Sit tight. Y'all don't need to see me do all that. All right, clean that out. Let's go ahead and pour our part B in here. Part B is a little bit thinner, so. It's a little bit easier to kind of get the majority of it out. But you want to make sure you're getting all of it. Because that's what you measured. And um, just to be clear, some people like wear the ventilators and all that stuff. I have all my windows open, fan going, so I'm getting a lot of fresh air in the house, which I normally have it like that when I'm doing resin projects because I just like to have air circulating to kind of just kind of keep everything moving around and not sitting. Okay, we got them mixed together. I'm going to wipe this out real quick. Because it's easier if you just wipe it while it's fresh. If you clean it while it's fresh, it's just easier to clean. I'm going to separate this down once I get it mixed into colors and different cups. So those cups will be kind of done already. So I'm going to mix this up. Give me about five minutes. All right. So I had to do a different project. We'll add to some other projects. So I think I'm... We're going to have to do another pour, but we're going to do one for sure. And then we'll come back and do the other one. So we're going to start with mixing some white. Mix some white in this one. And this is a total of approximately about eight ounces. So it's not, probably ain't going to, won't be enough for all of it, but... You don't see what it gives. Might be like nine ounces total. I'm going to mix up some more because we were going to do both. So we will definitely be mixing, making another mix because I know this won't be enough, but that's the white. We'll leave our stick in there. And we want to do, what did I say? Gold. Gold and white. And this is the one I have for the gold. I don't have much gold left of the alcohol inks. So I'm going to use this. Oh, that's pretty. Put a little bit more in there because I want this gold to pop. Trim these edges. Make sure you go around the edges when you are mixing your colors. Getting all that resin in there. Getting that color mixed in good. Okay, that's our goal. And then this is going to be hmm, our clear glitter. And I'm going to put a lot of glitter in it because I want it to be a lot. I just want it to look like a glittery mix. You don't have to hurry up because it's starting to warm up. And these little cups you can just toss. You don't have to clean them or do anything because they are disposable. 
got these, I think, from either the Dollar Tree. And they got little lids. So they like little um, cups you can use to put snackables and things like that in. They make really good for resin. Well, this, I'm, yeah, that's what I bought them for. And so far, they are coming along. Okay, so that's our gold glitter. And we're going to start for the pour. The first thing I want to do is I want to use my gold because I want to line my edges. So, set my gold spatula to the side. Okay, that's not it. And first, what I want to do is, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit in the bottom of the holder so that the top of the holder will have like a little gold trim hopefully around the top and I just let that kind of kind of sit and then I'm gonna come and then I'm gonna go around the edges for the mold I'm going to thin this out. Get the stick. This is just kind of pouring a little bit thicker than what I want. But again, you can't really control resin, so it's going to do its thing. Even if you pour it, it's going to do what it do. All you can do is try. All we can do is try. This one, and then we'll save the rest of it to kind of accent it a little bit. Now, the white. The white, the white. <laughs> I'm just being goofy, guys. The white around your lips. And I'm going to start in the middle. each one of them. Hopefully it'll push that gold out. And these um, molds are not thick. They're a thin coaster. So it's not as big as the, um, the, the coasters with the lip on the end. These don't have a lip. These do not have a lip. Right. Now we're going to try to put some white up in here. Come back with the white all through it just to kind of give it some depth. And we'll leave a little bit in that cup. Now we're going to come back with our glitter. I don't know how this going to come, but we just going to keep it moving and let it do what it do. So I'm going to pour this one in the middle. Maybe pour it through. Pour it. Pour it. Let it just kind of do what it do. try a little effect Let's see how stuff comes out going to try to marbleize it through. Do a little pulls. Give it just some character. A little artisticness. I'm going to um, 
use my Cricut Joy to kind of personalize these once they um, get done curing. I think people like when um, stuff is just not me. Well, some people they like. I just don't like plain. Um, I just don't like plain. I have to always add a little bit of something to it. So what is this? This is gold. So we still got a lot left. Now I think this was maybe about, like I said, eight inches. I'm gonna come back and we gonna throw the gold through here. Throw it through there. Again, just marbleize it. Giving it just, you know. Now in here, I'm just gonna put little bitty swirls up and through it. Again, just to give it some character. And to bring it all together. Not too much. And finish it out. Because we don't want to leave nothing. And I got a lot, well, a little bit of gold left. But I got a lot of this glitter left. And a little bit of this white. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a little bit of white that I have. And I'm gonna just, ooh, glad I caught that. Dab it through, let it fall from up top, and just kind of whiz it in there. Let all of them get just a little bit of whizzing. We always come up with a little, a little name for it. I don't know. It was just so whimsical, the little streams. And I'm gonna clean this cup up, and I'm just gonna let it fall from my from my um, popsicle stick here. Again, giving it some depth. I'm just gonna assist it on in there. stick away I'm gonna wipe this cup off I think it's coming out looking good I'll throw some some um personalization on them you know just bring it on home so I still got resin left so let's hopefully I can find something to do with them I'm sure I can I'm just cleaning out this cup real quick because it's already getting kind of sticky so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it because we all might have to use it okay we got a little bit of this gold left this is my gold popsicle stick and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna feel and it's getting sticky too so we're gonna come back and we want to fill up our holder and i'm gonna let some of this drip along the edges again trying to be precise as I can and then if that comes right there a little bit more smooth it on down Let's see, wipe this one out. And then we got one last one to go. And I kind of like doing the clear last because you can decide where you want kind of like a see-through look and feel to it. And yeah, 
Look, once it starts to get tacky, which that's what is going on right now, I'm trying to clean my cups up so that it ain't too, it ain't too sticky, but my gloves is already like tacky. Okay, so last one, and it's warm, so let me go ahead and start it up. Let's see, it's getting thick. Ooh, it ain't warm, it's hot. And in this cup, Lord. Okay, so we gotta just kind of throw it here and there. Give it just whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. So that that is curing. That's a big old clump. So yeah, I got to hurry up. Okay, so these cups, hmm. They it cures real quick. I, I don't I can't even pour this. Not in here. Let me see. Maybe I can pour it in here so I don't waste it. And it can kind of just go on down in there. Do what it needs to do. Because we do not want to waste no resin, honey. I don't care how much we saved on the budget. We don't want to waste it. And it's just, yeah, it's sticky, sticky, sticky everywhere. Trash. Oh, trash. Oh, and up. <laughs> I'm going to stick this to trash. Pause for a moment. All right. We are back. That was the first for that. I've never had that happen. So maybe those cups, maybe you need to just go ahead and pour them as soon as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up next to each other so that they can at least, you know, hold each other solid and clean. And then this, I'm, I need to... Um, Probably have to tape it because these molds can sometimes need a little um, support. And so that's what I'm gonna do because I want it to uh, be nice and square like it should be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it. I think I am. I don't know. We have to see. The tape might not. Nope, it don't stick to the silicone. All right. So I gotta find another way to. Um, I'm trying to think of what do I have. Hold tight. Okay, I found some cardboard. Yay! To place around it to give it some structure. And so I'm sure that this tape will stick to this cardboard. But yeah. Maneuvered me a, a frame. Tight. You want it to be able to, maybe not too tight. But where it's nice and square. that and that's just gonna give it a little structure while it gets hard and that's there we have it I'm gonna torch it up a little bit and I'll come back with you to show y'all the vintage product I think they gonna come out cute okay I have made my other pour and we're gonna get ready to mix up these colors and we're gonna do black To be kind of careful because I still got my gold and white, and we don't want to get no black in there. Gonna mix up our black. This is gonna be our silver. We're supposed to have silver and white, right? Silver, a little silver glitter in there. Mix that up.
mix it quickly. And then this, we'll split it up between. Oh, I don't want to use that cup anymore. It scared the mess out of me because it, yeah, it kind of did me kind of bad. So I'm going to use this little small, it's a little thicker plastic cup. And I'm just going to pour a little bit in here for some clear. Just to have some clear. And then this will be our white. So this will be a combination of a couple of colors. Mix it quickly. Right. And our clear, we're going to throw some glitter in this clear. Mix it. Alright, so this one I want to go around the edges with the black. Do I? No, I don't. I just kind of want to marbleize it through. So we'll do the silver around the edges. Silver. Silver. These models are sticking. I've been resin and doing resin. Pretty much all day today. And then we want to come up in here. To turn my cup. Just a little bit to come back and accent through it once we get everything poured. Coming back, we want to do the white, the white, the white. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. I don't know why I always do that. I'm going to have to change my paper once these get done. And I'm going to come right in the center with my white. And then hopefully I'll push that silver to the edge. And then we're going to come back and drizzle what we got left kind of giving it some character and we got a little bit left in there okay now for this bold black black is such a bold color and I got a lot of it so hopefully I might have to use it for something else but I just want to squeeze together and drizzle. See how bold that is? That is that is severely bold. It just kind of overpowers. I don't want to use a lot, so I'm going to start high and just drizzle it in there. so overpowering 
we're gonna come through and marbleize it out. But just wanna Trace it out in there. This is such a bold color. So I'm going to not use as much, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little a little bit in here because I know I'm gonna have enough left over. And this is just a cigarette lighter mode. And I just kind of use it to when I have a little bit, a little bit too much resin, I can just put it in here. Set it to the side. Okay, this one we can put just a little. More black. Now I still got a lot left, but I still got this clear left, so this is going to lighten up some of some of that black and spread it out. Give it a little bit of silverish in there so that I can come back again and swirl it. Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to swirl. We're going to swirl. Now, this one might be a little bit bigger than the square one. I don't know. So. We gonna see how this come out. out real quick my nose is itching sorry guys okay we got that one cleaned out and then what I got left I got some silver just going to tone some of that black down. I still got black left though. <laughs> so I might have put a little bit too much but I do see some spots where I can put it so let's see how that works. This one out. All right. Moving on alone. Coming back. A little bit of black.
and I'm just dragging dragging it through to give it character hopefully Okay, so what I'm seeing is we can use a little bit more black right in there to accent it. I know it looks it looks a mess. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I have to see. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. We might have to do some spoocing up on this one. Okay, I got a little bit left of my white. And so I'm going to go ahead and try to get rid of as much of this black as I can in this coaster. And I probably just shouldn't have poured as much black, but it's okay. It is okay. But we're not wasting And I probably just end up doing some white lettering on it just to kind of give it some character. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what I'm I got just the smidgen of black left. I'm, I'm going to see if I can find the small mode. And then I'm coming back with this last little bit of white. I got just a little bit left up in here. But I'm going to be able to drizzle, drizzle through.
trash. That's all we got left is this. Is this black? See if we can do some art. If it's something we can do to kind of bring this together. Starting to look a little cohesive. And all I'm doing is doing some drags. Some drags through. So at least they'll look like a set. Somewhat. You don't, I don't know what that what that's going to turn out to look like, but we're going to do some lettering on it. And I just got a smidgen of black left, so I'm just going to pour it into this. I mean, when I say just a smidgen, I don't have nothing I could put it in. It ain't even, yeah, worth the headache. We'll just wipe it off into this napkin and put it in the popsicle stick in the trash. It kind of looked like a zebra a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that helped. That helped a lot. I know you like, what? What is this? But I promise you, it looks a lot better. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to look a lot better than, yeah, once we get everything out and get it decorated. But right now, it's not my favorite, guys. It's not my favorite, but we going we gonna to push through, okay? So I'm going to torch it a little bit, change out my gloves, and that's going to be it until it cures, and we'll come back and finish them both, finish both sets up. I'm going to finish both of the sets up, and they'll be all done. So thank you for watching. I will see you in a minute once this cures up and we'll be moving on to the next part, okay? All right, guys, we are back and we have our coaster sets here. They are firm and ready to move on to the next step. And so our next step is for you to hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you can get notified when I upload new material new content new videos 
Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You know I need your subscribers. You know I need your likes. Go ahead and hit them likes buttons and those uh, um, bell buttons so that you guys can get notified when I upload some new content, okay? So we moving on. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our lettering that we made on the Cricut Joy over there. And if you wanna know how I did this again, you can check out um, a previous video. I'll post the link below on um, how to incorporate the Cricut Joy into your resin arts um, and just kind of personalize your art for um, different things. So we have four coasters. So I have four um, words, faith, family, friends, forever. So we're gonna put one in the center of each one of these and um, just kind of see how that look, okay? So I'm gonna start with the very first one. And I'm gonna line it up, try to put it right in the middle of the coaster and I'm gonna eyeball it and I'm just gonna smooth that one in and peel that one up. Smooth it in and peel it up. Trying not to get the rest of them stuck to anything okay uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh back it up back it up back it up lay that back down it's just a little bit and you have to be super careful on your pull up so that you don't tear your lettering because you want to make sure everything and there we have it yep she came out nice and cute okay and let me put the wording in the other three and i'll be right back give me one second Okay, now we have all both sets done, all four on each. That is how that's looking. I think they all came out really nice. I'm going to put the top coat on them. Very pretty. Very pretty. Those are the black and white ones. We say live, love, laugh loudly. Mm -hmm. To come up with something for that fourth one, and I like to live my life life out loud. So live it loudly. Live life loudly, huh? And love. Oh, these are so adorable, so adorable. And so we're gonna put a top coat on them. Fill in the bottoms of the. The containers and then I'll come back and let y'all see the finished product okay so remember I need you guys to hit subscribe that nice red button below hit the thumbs up if you like the content if you don't just come on help a sister out appreciate you and I will see you when the finished product is done okay so hi guys we are back I'm mixing up some resin to finish out these projects and then we're gonna pop them in the resin heater, epoxy heater. That's what you hear going in the background. So I might need to talk up just a little bit. So we're just mixing up some resin. We don't need to put any color in it because we're just topping off uh, the coaster sets. And then we're gonna get them in the heater. Get them ready to go remember to hit that button on the bottom hit subscribe guys hit the notification bell and please give me a couple thumbs up I need them thumbs up guys I would greatly appreciate it and if you like the content that I provide for you all the tutorials all of the reviews just want to share with you in life and love what we like to do and the things that we're interested in over here in our power projects right I surely appreciate you guys those of you that have subscribed thank you guys appreciate you you are amazing you are awesome you make my heart smile you guys are the bomb 
thebomb.com. All right, so that's mixed up pretty good. And what we're going to do is I'm going to top off these coasters first and get them in the oven. Yeah, oven now, guys. In the oven, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and top these off. And I'm not really sure. I, I, did, I was, should have written down how much resin I used to pour these. But I want to say... Maybe an 8 ounce pour for the first part. And right now I'm just topping them. And then I'm going to put a little bit in the container. This is just the container that um, holds the coasters. This is a cute little mold set. You know, I'm always trying to find something that's new and functional for the people right because if it ain't cute if it ain't functional you all know what this drill is i'm not messing with it i like things that are functional that we can use they not just look pretty but we can also use them in our home decor or in our office and so I'm just filling the molds up. I put the words in there as you guys saw. So we're going to seal them in. And this was 8 ounces. And I want to say I've done four, a little bit of the molds over there. And we're gonna finish these so these will be done hopefully within the next hour because we got this resin heater guys yes it is supposed to be a game changer help us produce our products a little bit faster so that was eight ounces and that was enough to kind of like feel all of the coasters and the holder so they'll be nice and full and then we're going to pop them in the resin heater we'll come back and finish up a couple more projects that we need to top off but that was 8 ounces and that did two, that topped off both of the coaster sets. So these are pretty much done. I want to say they were eight ounces a piece. Eight ounces each, give or take a few. And I'm just going to kind of turn them a little bit because my table is a little funky. So I'm just going to turn them. But these are looking so cute. We're going to, um, I'm going to come back and knock the bubbles out. And then we're going to pop them in a heater and see what it do. All right. So now that we have them poured, we have our resin heater here. I have my little tray. And I'm going to slide this in here. I'm going to put the top down on it. And I'm going to set it for 90 minutes. And we're going to see what it do. Okay? So sit tight. 